no man do they call me. My mother and my father, and all my comrades as well. Hey everybody, No Man here, and I just wanted to do a quick video um, with some behind the scenes thoughts on some things that are going on on YouTube. Um, uh, for those of you who are not aware, uh, YouTube got rid of uh, visible dislikes as part of uh, YouTube. You guys, if you dislike my video, you cannot see uh, how many dislikes are on them. This is a change YouTube has made recently. Uh, and a lot of people have already talked about this. A lot of people have kind of said their piece uh, about it. And I didn't really have much to say that wasn't already being said. But I thought I, I would give you guys um, some thoughts, but also give you... Um, a couple of things about being a creator and how it affects uh, me. Um, one of the things that that uh, happens when you dislike something uh, is it goes so it goes into it. I can still go and look at it, but I like have to go into uh, the actual video. I had to go into the an analytics of that video um, as a creator. And then go find the like dislike ratio, which I think is like it's like under engagement or something or or like uh, one of the stat lines. So it's actually not super easy to like find quickly. Uh, so in a weird way, that's like something I don't like is it's I prefer to just be able to click on my video, uh, have my likes and dislikes prominent uh, and have it not be a thing that I have to go find and search for. Uh, because if people don't like something that I put out, if I take a risk and do something and people are like, nah, this isn't, this isn't what we want from your channel, uh, I want to be able to see that, and I want to be able to see that uh, quickly. Uh, I think that YouTube is doing this basically to protect... Basically to protect large channels from scandals. That's kind of it. So if, if YouTube has like big channels or they're big companies doing big things on YouTube and they put their foot in their mouth or do something that is tone deaf or uh, do something, get a bunch of people mad uh, that are going to, you know, dogpile onto their videos and dislike them. They want to reduce the negative optics of uh a company with essentially their ass hanging out looking like garbage because you have a big, uh, huge dislike to like radio rate ratio. Uh, and I think if companies don't want people to hate their stuff, they should make better. They should make better things. Um, it's something that I'm, I'm pretty, uh, aware of. Uh, it's something smaller, channels are super acutely aware of is uh, towing the line to make sure we're not getting demonetized, that we're not dealing with super offensive uh, content or even questionably uh, con questionable content because we can get demonetized. We can lose what little income we have here. Uh, and, you know, giant uh, channels uh, and giant companies are not going to get hit as bad they'll probably get hit some but they're not going to lose their every, everyone involved is not going to lose their livelihood um so yeah I, I i'm kind of repeating some of what people have said uh and i don't think i'm adding a whole lot new but i, I wanted to give a little bit of my perspective as well as like it's actually kind of an inconvenient thing for me as a creator to find what the ratio is it's just not conveniently located for me to look at um, which is important for me to get feedback. Uh, another thing that I want to shed some light on, because it might annoy some of you, uh, is the method that YouTube has for uh, comments. Because basically what YouTube does is if you post something that's offensive, generally if you have like uh, words or phrases that make YouTube go bing, uh, and then they'll just they'll just block your, your message. Uh a bunch of stuff is just going to be blocked outright. So if you're using slurs or whatever, uh, they're going to they're going to block that out. Uh, however, one of the things that YouTube does is they will uh, send 
comments to me for evaluation. However, there's no, uh, there's no making me aware that I've received a comment that needs my evaluation. That people, you know, hey, this person said this thing. Uh, do you want it to appear on your, on your, uh, in your comments? Um, and I, I think that's pretty useful because I will, I have like in one, maybe two instances, uh, removed comments or in, in, in only one case and only one case, I blocked someone from being able to comment on my things just because they, not because they were critical of me, but because they were going into the comment threads and like starting fights with people who were like longtime subscribers of mine. I'm like, you just, you're, you're not doing anything, not adding anything. You're repeating the same thing over and over again. And you're like irritating my customers. It's like you go into a store and like, I don't like the store. I'm going to put my angry thing on Yelp. I, I do not like your thing. That's perfectly fine. I, I don't mind that at all. You, you don't like my stuff. Let me know. I, I appreciate the feedback. I genuinely do. But if you kind of go into a store and then like start screaming and like grabbing things out of other people's hands and like causing a scene, obviously it's not that bad because it's the internet. But you know, you're you coming into my uh, into my channel and you're causing a ruckus. Yeah, I'll 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 block you and make you can't bother people anymore. Um, but I'm getting back to my point uh, because YouTube basically takes these uh, random. Uh, messages and then sends them over to be evaluated. They just put them in this little queue for me to take a look at. Um, they don't. They don't let me know that that happens, and they only hold those comments for sixty days before deleting them. So, and it's not a thing that that I am. It's not high on my list of priorities to take care of to go and look through and see what's okay and what's not okay. Um, and there have been a couple occasions where I, I've deliberately gone to go check, seen something, been like, ah, I don't know, this is a little bit borderline, this kind of seems like uh, something inappropriate that I wouldn't want on the channel, but maybe, like, I, I don't want to cancel people's, like, free speech and all that fun stuff, but, you know, maybe. And then I'd come back and it was already deleted because because uh, YouTube doesn't hold them for very long, and I don't know how long they've been held. Uh, so, like... I would like YouTube to, I'd like YouTube to make uh, dislikes visible again. I would like it, if they can't do that, I would like them to make it at least easier for creators to view them. Um, I'd like for there to be an option. Like if the big, if the big companies don't want their stuff to get disliked, uh, then let's, let's opt, let, let us opt into making our dislike to like ratio visible. Um, and you know, people will know what the score is if your tone deaf, terrible ad or terrible, whatever, uh, ha does not have, uh, comments and does not have, uh, does not have like and dislike. Hmm. I wonder what's going on there. Uh, so that, and I also wish that YouTube would give me a, uh, a ping when somebody posted something. Uh, and they've shunted it over for me for approval uh, because it's not convenient to go searching to find out what it is. It's like a, it's like a couple of clicks in, uh, and I'd do it if it was a little bit more convenient, but I don't remember, and it's not super convenient, um, and they don't tell me how long they've held things. So anyway, I uh, just kind of rambled on a bit for that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, I am going to be putting this on the main channel. Uh, but I do behind the scenes talks like this uh, in my for my patrons. Uh, every level of patron now gets to hear these. Um, lowest level gets to hear one out of three of them. They get to hear a third of mine, and then the second tier gets to hear two thirds of them. Final tier gets to hear all gets to hear all every single one of these that I put out. So if that's something you're interested in, you can please check out my patron. Uh, Patreon and support me from there if you could. Uh, but I think I've talked enough. Thank you all very much. No man out.